basically since the beginning of Osweiler and my relationship, he's cheated the whole time. So when we were dating, when I was pregnant, before he came here, um, like what, three years into our marriage and then now. So it's just been... What do you say to that? Hey, you've been cheating when we started not getting to know each other. You've been cheating while we're dating. You cheated while I was pregnant. You cheated before we got here. You cheated while... You... At this point, sis, I need you to find the strength and the courage and the kahunas and the balls to get out of this relationship. Aswello, what are you doing? You want to... And Aswello's a very dangerous person. That's why I call him the villain. Because he presents this, like, innocent... Like he's like he's like he's a little kid, right? This naivety, right? Where really he's a silent assassin, because you 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 portray this. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm about. Meanwhile, you're out here in the streets cheating consistently since the beginning of the relationship. Why? And and then your argument later on is about you know I I feel like I don't want to be like the bad guy. You are the bad guy. So you're making a mistake. We all do that. Do stupid stuff. We all do that. But when you cheat consistently on your partner, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, and keep going. I've got no one else to look for, no one else to blame but you. I've got no one else to look at and say, actually, this is ridiculous, but you. There is no, she did this, she did that. You are the fault here. You don't want to lose your family, but you want to be out here trampolining in the pussoirs elsewhere. You want to be swimming in different swamps, apart from the one that's outside of your yard. Come on, Cap. And so you are a dangerous person to me because you present in a way that's like, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, 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 you know, I just want to look after my family. And you present this feeble man and really this feeble man is out here in the streets cooking it up. So no, I can't, I can't give him a pass and he doesn't deserve a pass. And actually when you spoke to her father at the time, you were saying about how you're going to be this great guy and suddenly you're not. I don't want to hear no excuse about, you know, uh, maybe she isn't doing this or maybe she doesn't do that or whether she doesn't do this. You are a consistent cheat that keeps coming back. And even up to now, you're saying you want your family back and, you know, she, it's annoying because you don't want to be her, in a friend zone. No wonder why she's looking at another brother and thinking to herself, maybe I should, you know, I think about him when I sleep with you. You, you have, you, this is not one time only. It's a regular occurrence. No wonder, no wonder her mind is scarred. No wonder her mind is thinking to herself, at what point will this end? That's a you thing. You did this. And I'm looking from her perspective. I'm going, I can feel, I understand why she's so hurt and why she thinks about someone else because it's going to be too painful thinking about you. And the pain doesn't stop. I can't even forgive you long enough for you to go out, back out there and cheat again. And you're thinking about going to the strip club? Are you in your right mind or are you in your right mind? You're thinking about going to a strip club with the boys. And you were so excited about the strip club that even when Yovi and, 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 and Kelly were telling you, we're not going to strip club, you get to say, we're going to strip club? And, you, and we see the preview for next week, you're going to be at the strip club, all up in these women, women's business and these women all up over you. And do you think this is going to reignite the trust and the, and, and the fidelity of your relationship? You believe this is going to rebuild the foundations and the bridges that you need to, to make your relationship sturdy? You believe that by doing this, asking for per, uh, forgiveness rather than permission, by going to the, to the, to the, to the strip, uh, strip club, that this is going to aid and abet your relationship in a way that's going to be positive? You are further drinking the poison that begins to seep into your relationship that kills both parties slowly. This is how your wife ends up on Snapped. And then you end up dead and her in prison and your child suffers, right? If you know you can't keep it in your pants, it may be time for you to leave the relationship. And I'm being kind by saying maybe. I mean, you should not be in a relationship anymore. And I, I want to keep it again a buck. I'm going to need good sis to get some sense. I'm going to need good sis to get some sense because you can't forgive him because he keeps doing it and it will continue. This pattern and how do you forgive someone for something that they keep doing? You're having heart palpitations. Your heart is bleeding. Your heart is hurting. Your parents and so your family told you about this guy. Don't go and date him. Don't marry him. But you remember, the reason why you're here is because your esteem. And you're thinking you might not get another person. Your esteem is what's, what's keeping you here. 
I need you to gather up your esteem, gather up your things of value and rise up from where you are and begin to walk and take your mat like Jesus told the man. Rise up, take your mat and walk. Because this particular point here, you're, you're, you're sitting down as if you're lame and you're not. But the reality of the situation is you've succumbed and given yourself in because of desperation. Desperation has a look and a sound and how it presents itself. And this is what it's presenting. You are desperate to stay in this relationship, this marriage, because you want to keep the family unit. But the family unit is a poison to you. and means that whatever you, whatever poison you ingest, you're going to pass that on to your children mentally. This is not a healthy place to be in. A swallow needs to get it together. A swallow needs to get himself in shape. A swallow needs to do this on his own. He does not need you by his side. He is not a puppy dog. In fact, he's far from it. I stayed with him because I was pregnant. Baby, even if you weren't pregnant, you would have stayed with him. Okay? Because you're staying with him now. You, 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 it's not because of your pregnancy. Your esteem is in the bin. Your esteem is in the bin because he's been cheating before the pregnancy. You stayed with him because, in reality, your esteem is in the bin. You need to work on building up your confidence. Building up why you value yourself, uh, building up your value in yourself and what you, what you uh, appreciate about you. We can't stay here. We can't stay in these dry lakes and dry deserts that don't provide for you and don't quench your thirst. We cannot stay in the places where we're starving and we're hungry and we're bitter and we're cold. We cannot stay in the places where we're not provided for emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and we're not protected mentally, emotionally, spiritually, sexually. Because he's not doing any of those things that a man should actually do for a woman. This is a kamikaze, fugazi madness of a relationship that needs not to go any further. He's a cheating scoundrel who's going to continue cheating because he realizes you can get away with it. Right? He can see that this is a family. And maybe he wants to do better. That's okay, but let him do better on his solo team. But right now, he's taking advantage of your kindness and your goodness. And I don't even want to call it kindness and goodness because at a certain point, it's no longer kindness and goodness. At a certain point, you are a fool. Right? Fool me once, shame on you. But fool me twice, shame on me. Like, it's like you have to be, you have to be, you have to be, and I've, I was probably the wrong way around. Who knows? I don't care. But you need to be aware. You need to be aware that this is no longer a relationship that serves you and that you are being beaten black and blue by this cheating. I did it because I thought we would be together all, like forever. Sad. So like feeling my feelings just die. <laughs> and let me tell you something, when those feelings die, it's very difficult for a man to get that back. I, I, more than likely, she ain't coming back. She probably, if she's going to go out, she's going to go out with a bang. It looks like, look like she, she looked like she's about to take out some things on the way out. Okay. A swallow going to be one of those things she's going to take out. Um, you know, she, that's why she's still flirting with old boy, unblocked old boy. She's about to go out with a bang. You know what I mean? But yeah, if anybody out there, please collect your esteem. Do not let your man cheat on you several times over like this. It's not necessary to stay in a relationship like this. It's uncomfortable. It's un, it's, it's, it's not nice. It's not how you should be in a relationship. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification of uploads.